Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019 and while I'm shuffling the cards, which by the way are the traditional reader weight tarot deck in this case, the uh, radiant version of it uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces star sign and for that reason the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Pisces. So uh, if you want personal reading where your personal situation uh, to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, that is a subject of a personal reading. And uh, for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And uh, if you go for that option, just to let you know that till the end of February, all of the prices of the services are uh, reduced with reduced costs because to make myself more accessible into people in need or rather like in the people with financial difficulties let's say it that way so uh that being said going to the spread directly the first card which is the topic of your pisces week this is going to be the page of wands followed by the second card which is the uh negative approach toward the week that is going to be the six of swords going for the third card here which is the positive approach toward the week that is going to be the five of swords and the last one that we do have, this is going to be the um, judgment and the judgment is, or rather like this position is about the outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of uh, Taro in these uh, couple of positions here. Okay, so once again, page of uh, wands followed by the six of swords, then it is the five of swords and the last one that is going to be the judgment. Just like that. So uh, your week or the topic is going to revolve around a person. Now uh, that is going to be the page of wands. Most likely a woman around your age or a little bit younger. I'm saying most likely it could be as well a male. But the thing with that person is that they kind of present themselves um, very cool. And uh, one second guys. Okay, so they are presenting themselves themselves very cool and like they are very detached. Not nothing can nothing can really bring them down. That that person always wants to be the center of the universe, the center of the social circle, everything to revolve around them, and so on and so forth. And they present themselves as very strong on their own, and that like they don't need anybody. But in reality, they are very fragile. They do have a very fragile nature, very touchy, uh, can be very jealous as well. But the beauty of that person is that they are open for everything new that comes around. They are open to explore. And as your situation revolves around that person, you are going to make an exploration with that person or you may start exploring that person itself. And through it, uh, I could say that a lot of options available are gonna be are gonna open for you. As a matter of fact, with the page of uh, wands here, uh, something unthinkable until this very moment actually is gonna start starting to sound very rational and rather achievable, if I may express it that way. On a more superficial level, guys, this card could point that if you expect some sort of a message or to hear out from someone and so on and so forth, it is most likely that your topic of the week is going to revolve around the message itself. The message is going to come around and from there, you know, well, you're going to see how that fit when we go to the next card. But for the majority, is going to be about a, a person. And the accompanied card, this is the Knight of Wands here. So definitely a person. Uh, and with the Knight of Swords, that is a, a confirmation. They make active supporters. And that is a, definitely a confirmation that you are going to explore with that person. 
many many opportunities or how things can really work so if for example that is a suitor of yours at the start when you interact together i mean there will be a lot of obstacles but that is not gonna stop you both of you that that is to find a way to be together should be determined you both to be determined to be together uh, and same thing goes business wise if that is your business partner approaching you even if there is a certain obstacles you to you both are going to find a way so prediction here for the topic topic is revolving around the person with which you are going to find a way out of difficulties through experimenting and through basically um Oh, well, it is it, it is like try and error type of game, right? Uh, important thing, however, to be said with these cards is that as soon as you find your way or rather like as soon as you find what works for you and for that person as well, because whatever works for them is going to work for you also. Uh, it is important not to continue on searching because uh, the negative aspect of these cards is that they burn out very quickly and you may find yourself just wobbling in between uh, uh, multiple things not knowing which one to 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 involve yourself in on how to approach the situation itself while the real opportunity just fades away so also it will be um it will be imperative here that you pisces really kind of can recognize which thing that you try is going to be effective or not but once again it's a very very potent week where uh, <clears throat> one of your ideas which until this very moment you thought it cannot be achieved now it will be able to through the appearance of uh, of this person and that could be as well a, a companion of yours that is simply the only thing that they are going to do is make you believe in yourself, which is as well something big. I mean, and through this belief, through this clamor that you are going to incorporate into your personal confidence, uh, you will start searching for a way how you can materialize that idea of yours, which nobody else believes in. Because if that's the case, this is what we're talking about here. An idea of yours or a goal of yours that nobody else believes in except of that person. And most likely they will approach you and they will tell you to just follow your happiness, and not to listen to anybody else. Because also with this reading here, uh, you are much stronger than you think you are definitely Pisces I mean you are setting your bar very very low and you can definitely go higher than that now the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation that is to be the six of swords and basically that, that it is a very short interpretation here basically says that there is nothing wrong in you trying there is nothing to be afraid if you try out something new if you are ready for something new as well and eventually you know you need to step out of your comfort zone you need to do something brave in order to uh, improve your circumstances because in this case as the six of swords is here it points that the threshold is going to be very fearful okay or rather like this initiation with that person is going to be very fearful in a sense of that uh, you may not feel very secure acting under their banner if i may express myself that way or kind of like involving yourself in the um cooperation with uh, with that person either either relationship wise or career wise and even with relationship wise i can give you an example okay so that's let's say that's a suitor of yours and so on and so forth but because they are handsome and because they look like they they enjoy life because like i said the page enjoys enjoys life you may think that they're not serious and you may be afraid that they're going to jump into the next one after they kind of like, um, how can I place it, after they um, lose interest in you and so on and so forth. And while that is true that they are very prone to be with someone because it's interesting, uh, you have nothing to be afraid of from a sense that you can definitely keep and feed up their interest for a quite a long time and until the time is right where they will not need any more interest to be with you that is just for an example so uh, what the card here in reality says is the six of swords is not to give up give yourself up to the fear of trying and to the fear of uh, traversing a certain threshold toward unknown 
unknown field because that is going to be like i said something new that comes around and even if it is a message coming around is going to be the message is going to regard to something that you are going to be afraid of of trying let's say that you are in a long distant relationship all right and you haven't heard from your partner for a quite a while you're waiting for a message and the message comes around and the message contains a an invitation to go and live with them somewhere all right that is fearful in the sense of that you may not be ready for it i mean you may uh kind of like start worrying how you're gonna find a job there and so on and so forth but a brave actions here with this card are needed so you can improve the circumstances in this field all right and in your life in general so kind of like bravery it's the name of the game here additionally to it we do have the king of wands which forms a an active friends of the cards and uh, basically here however uh, you should be uh, how can i place it well it's more like believing in yourself i already said that this is just a confirmation here but uh, the more the bigger expectations you do have the more afraid you're gonna be that's the thing so you have to keep the things simple and just attend to them one after another uh having how can i place it um knowing that something can work and having a faith or rather like having a belief that is gonna work ultimately are two different things because you have an expectation to work, but it can work, but it may not as well, all right? So the, the thing here is that you should kind of like be more objective uh, toward the situation itself. And when it comes to stepping out of the comfort zone, uh, this card here, it does point that things are gonna get very, very serious and uh, not may not much enjoyable as well at least not in the initial state through the triversion here of the threshold but uh, <clears throat> afterwards should you overcome your fear of making those brave steps uh, you will be able to transform your ideas into a, a very very powerful actions okay so it's all about uh, making the first step that it is very scary all right no different than being on a first date and when you walk away or when you walk over the girl to her home you know the first step there is to to kiss her on the uh, on the porch on the patio and that is always fearful you know you don't know how she's going to react you don't know you know uh, is she not gonna slap you with a fistful and so on and so forth but you know that that is the, the the difficulty here and this is some kind of a thing you gotta do just the first step after that everything gets easier and easier but you need to just overcome you know the the, the fear of what is to happen after you do a certain thing which is once again the first step of the initiation once again this person that comes around guys uh they will give you an option available all right they will kind of like boost your confidence and they will make you aware that what you're dreaming of and what you want it is completely accessible or in a sense it's completely achievable but again it comes to you do you have the courage to achieve it do you have the consistency to achieve it and uh <clears throat> as well do you have what it takes it's it's all about that and for what it seems at least for now what it takes it's courage that is the very first thing that you need to have the next card it is the part the right approach toward the situation and that is the way of how you think well with this card the five of swords pisces you are you are putting your bar way lower than you can all right so you are working way below your uh, your limits or you are hoping for things way below your your limits but with the five of swords it is needed a, a critical orientation or rather like a critical insight so don't be um kind of like don't be poignant if that person kind of like 
criticize you in an insulting way. That is because they want to provoke this sense within you of self-preservation and sense for that one always needs to make an approach to grow. And with the Five of Swords, the, the whole intention of this person coming around or the message that you are going to um, that you are going to uh, receive is to make you aware that you are much stronger than you think you are. And with the Five of Swords, as the Five of Swords is always a victory, by the way, guys, in Tarot, Five of Swords is always a victory. Sometimes a bitter one, but sometimes a productive one. It depends where the card fall. And here the card falls into a positive position, so it means it's in a productive victory. Well, it means as well that it's going to be rather, uh, how can I place it? Uh, I don't know the exact word, really, but it's more like a ruthless approach that is going to be required in the sense of that you should, you should care less for what those around you think of you, for what those around think, for your goal, for your aim, for your relationship, for your career as well. Just have your fulcrum and uh, push on forward with it. Are you gonna make people disappointed? Some of them, yeah. I mean, are, they pe are these people gonna try to attack you in any way, verbally that is? Yeah, but if you are uh, completely aware of what you want, you know what you are after, you know how to get it and uh, that is everything for you, then you should care less for what they think and that they're trying to attack you in any way. It is just this time, you are not, like I said, this time around, you're not working on their level. Now you have lifted the, your level. You lifted your level of performance, your level of life, your level of criteria, level of everything with the Five of uh, Swords. Five of Swords gives you great amounts of power, power to um, power to kind of like push through and to uh, achieve victory. But also this power, it's very different from the power of the devil. This power can be severely misused because you can use that power to hurt people as well, okay? Depending, that will depend on your approach. That will depend on on your performance in general. You can perform milder and kind of like be uh, milder on people around you or you can perform very recklessly and ruthlessly. Both ways you are gonna have what you want or what this person tells you on an idea as in an idea or it kind of reveals you that it is achievable throughout the week. But uh, it's is it really worth it? So at that point, with the Five of Swords also comes the necessity for you to think of the most um, conserving way where you are going to spare people or and as well spare resources. The most efficient way, if I might say it that way, how you can achieve the, the victory. It is not a matter of will I'm going to achieve the victory. It is the matter of how I am going to achieve the victory. And a victory it is. You look at that. We have the four of uh, wands here. Active friends. It is what we do have. So this thing, lifting up your expectations, lifting up your personal boundaries and the bar that you are working according to uh, is going to allow you to finalize a, a very, very important cycle of life. Well, if you are single and you do what it said here, probably you're going to at least, you know, initiate the era where you're going to find a, a very, very good relationship, all right? Same thing goes for career as well. Basically, that is a, a cycle of growth ending and a new one, which is a better than the previous one, uh, it is starting. And as well, with these cards, uh, one more confirmation on a very superficial level is that whatever plan you have, it is ready. And now it's time for you to initiate. Now it's time for you to start materializing. It's time for you to basically um, sow the, uh, the, the seeds so you can reap the fruits from your labor further into the future. And uh, basically these cards are saying that it is time for you to celebrate that you have met that person, they opened your eyes for the possibilities lying ahead and simply now there is nothing that can stop you. With these cards, there is nothing that can stop you should you have the courage, right? 
and that courage kind of like it has its a very thin line with uh, with recklessness as well and ruthlessness either and the last card which is the outcome of growth should you follow the guidance here of the cards that will be the just the, the judgment card and the judgment is the wake up call guys the judgment is where you become whole where everything falls into its place and where huge resolutions are reached so that could be uh your new relationship that could be your new job that could be the pregnancy you have waited for all right it's just for example if we're talking about pregnancy for example you try to get pregnant you can you cannot excuse me for one or another reason you go to consultants to consultants and so on and so forth and this week you stumble upon that consultant which offers you an ortho, uh, an orthodox method of conceiving you try it out that lifts the bar of the expectations is a little bit scary all right but in the same time it is something that should you initiate will improve your circumstances so you initiate it and bang there you go you know so basically this triversion or rather like this traverse of the uh, of the threshold of your fear to initiate into something unorthodox into a uh, a dream of yours that you thought unreachable until this very moment actually gives you what you needed in your life with the uh with the just with the judgment because the judgment is like i said the wake-up call you can accept it like this trying to find a way out of your uh, miserable life should your life be miserable because everybody has a situation where they are miserable at all right so trying to find a way from that miserable situation not not being able to do so because neither of the options suits you in any way and now throughout the week through that person comes a, a third option available or even fourth option available which is the right one for you to do which uncovers for you the way the way out of difficulties and the accompanied card here that is going to be the world so uh, we do have here a active neutrals and simply it does mean that things doesn't have to end here right it simply means that you thought that that is the end of the line but it isn't because what awaits you afterwards it's so much better than this you are you thought that you are at the peak of the experience while this is just the foundation of it this is just the milestone of it the peak it is far far further from now but it does require courage it does require an orthodox thinking and some unorthodox actions and as well belief self-belief that you can pull it out self-belief that you can do it that's it so uh yeah it does look like guys that this is going to be a, a turning point in your life a week for turning point in your life in one of your situation or maybe for your entire life as well just be on the lookout for that person like i said uh, a very cheerful one wants to be in the uh, in the center of the universe here wants to be in the center of the attention uh, they seem like uh, or they are trying to present themselves as very strong or their own but in reality when you spend time with them and they open to you you're gonna see how fragile really they are from within but through that person it, it that person is gonna serve like a conduit to you to kind of like saturate yourself with ideas or to believe in yourself or to believe in a dream of yours that can be materialized and as soon as you do so and you have the courage to make the first step to initiate that dream is going to become true because the world points that it, it, it goes more than that it just goes more than just having the dream I, it goes to the materialization of the dream itself so that being said pisces this was your weekly tarot reading for february 25th to march 3rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed and you liked it and once again that was a general reading for pisces star sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different pisces now if you want a personal reading where your personal situation to, will be analyzed by me through tarot just like i did for the few examples in this video uh 
then you can go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're gonna find full list of my services and as well their pricing also if you go for there uh, don't forget that till the uh, end of February uh, the pricings are with reduced costs so I can make myself uh, more accessible to the people in financial struggle Brad signing up now see you next time bye